Hey there YouTube, what is going on? It's the best one, hey. Got a little vacation this week, so I get to spend some time with the family. And I'm maybe getting to do some short vids in. Not exactly sure. I'm thinking maybe I'll edit this on the phone or if I can on on my iPad. But the only thing with the iPad is I won't have internet connectivity, so I won't be able to connect it to the internet. Now I wanted to take you over this little bridge a little further down and hoping we ended up leaving a little later than I thought I would. The wife is behind me and uh, I headed far, We're heading right over to the Pennsylvania, right over to Pennsylvania. A little quick, little quick getaway, but I'm taking a bike with me. And um, yeah, so that ought to be fun. It's nice to get to spend some time with the family. Taking this down for a little bit further. I gotta slow down here. Anyhow, I uh, figured since I was out and about, Fort Jervis is 10 miles that way, huh? Yes, I figured since I was out and about, I would, uh, I would shoot a little vlog, do a little chit chat, and you know, I was watching a, a vlog by a, a good buddy, uh, Moto Matman, and of course he put the TN at the end of his name. Uh, I was watching a vlog by him, and you know, <laughs> he actually mentioned me in the vlog, and you know, I had no idea. I had no idea that he was gonna mention me in the vlog, because I saw he did a vlog, and I believe he called it Life Updates. And I said, oh, let me let me check this vlog out. You know, so I swing in and check it out, and he's like, oh yeah, you know. The best way they y'all remember this route. <laughs> he was on the highway uh, 81, if I'm not mistaken, is 81. I think it's 81. Uh, and and uh, man, I tell you that highway is beautiful. It is such a beautiful road. But anyway, he lives close by there, so you know he was he was like, man, you know you pass right by me, and I said, oh shoot, you gotta be kidding me. But um. You know, I'm always grateful for my viewers. I'm always grateful for everyone that takes the time to watch these videos and leave a comment or even leaving a like. <laughs> you know, I'm always grateful for that. And I feel like, you know, that's something that we should never forget and be thankful for. You know, that just to, just to hear him say, even, you know, guys like NC Stoney and a lot of other guys, you know, just to hear them say, hey, yeah, the best for me, you, you ought to know that, you know, and I'm always grateful for that, man. You know, I never, I never take that for granted. You know, in my eyes, you don't let the subscriber count change how you interact or think with people. You know, that's always been one of my biggest issues with YouTube. A lot of the huge subscribers that could just kind of care less about who views. They won't even take a minute to respond. Even though they may get a lot of comments. But shoot, man, you got at least hit the heart button. You know, let people know that you came by. I don't think I've, I don't think I connected my horn. I'm going to have to, when I disconnected the battery, I got to check that. But uh, yeah, Moto Matt, man, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for uh, that little bit of acknowledgement there. I did enjoy that video, I tell you, I really, I really enjoyed it, you know. So, uh, you know, another thing on my mind, I was, you know, the other day I worked in the morning and I got out in the morning and I said, oh man, yeah, 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 I got home. You know, I had a nice time to go for a ride. And I said, yeah, I'm gonna go for a ride. I'm gonna do this. And uh, yeah, yeah. I got home and my wife sends me a text. Oh, can you, can you, uh, can you cut up those green peppers? 
So I said, all right, yeah, I cut the green peppers up. And then after cutting up the green peppers, I gotta make a, I gotta go to the left over here. So after cutting up the green peppers, you know, I got all my gear on and you know, the sun was setting and it was looking really nice out there. And I said, oh man, I think I could get a nice little, get a nice little ride in. Got my camera gear set up. I can get my, get my vlog in, cancel. And man, let me tell you. <laughs> so my wife sends me another text. Can you, can you, uh, can you mix up those sweet potatoes? <laughs> so I said, oh man, I went upstairs, mixed up the sweet potatoes. And then after I got done doing that, they came home. So I said, all right, I still got about a good 25, 30 minutes in this beautiful, this beautiful window here that I can get out. You know, where the sun is setting, that golden moment or golden light, they call it. Whatever the heck they call it, I don't know. Anyway, so I figured I had a good 25 minutes that I can get out and do that. Oh, we're in New Jersey. See, they just told me, welcome to New Jersey. So I figured I had, you know, a good few minutes. I said, all right, cool. Getting ready to head out. My daughter says, oh, daddy, where you going? I said, oh, I'm gonna take a quick ride real quick and come back. She said, oh, you gonna shoot a vlog? I said, oh, yeah, I think so. I don't see why not. She said, okay. And I said, wait a minute, hey, did you do your, did you do your, your essay for school? And she says, oh, no, I didn't finish it yet. I said, oh, no, 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 no. And that essay was due the next day. So I ended up, I ended up, uh, <laughs> I had to take off all my gear, scratch that, close the garage. Come on, let's go. Got to do your homework. You know, it, you know what? For me, being a dad comes before everything else. It comes before, it comes before being a motorcyclist. It comes before being a vlogger. Shoot, you know, it even comes Sometimes before my own, my own dang nabbing self, you know, where you have to just take a few minutes and, and be a dad, you know, that's, that's the most important thing to me, the most important thing to her. Yeah, I could have got out, went out and gone for a ride, you know, went out, shot a nice vlog, but, you know, we always have to choose what's most important to us. And I think we all do that in our lives. You know, I see that in a lot of the vloggers out there, like Geared Brave and Motorcycle Mama, uh, NC Stoney, you know, with his kids and his grandkids, you know, and all of the choices that we make out there. Oh, look at these cows. So, um, yeah, just a little vlog I wanted to shoot. I wanted to tell you that, you know, Felt like you know beggars can't be as beggars can't be choosers <laughs> you know we have to take what we can get look at those sheep and uh yeah ah oh, this road is kind of rough anyhow youtube we're gonna go and i'll come back when i get to that bridge i'll be sure to put that in always like going over that bridge i've showed that to you before and maybe i'll see if i can edit this all and get it up for tomorrow Ooh, that tar snake was a little slippery all right brothers take it easy